so I'm going to talk about a bit of lessons learned in last few years, right? Uh, those who do not know about Checkpoint, just a quick recap and intro. Uh, Checkpoint is a cybersecurity company for uh, which has been in the industry for more than 30 years now. Uh, and uh, we started our journey with, with Firewall only as an as a offering in terms of product. Uh, and over the years, we have also started offering uh, security end-to-end. -end. When I say security end-to-end, -end, which means we started now also uh, entering into space like cloud security, which is completely, you know, uh, uh, on-prem or off-premise, which is public cloud offering, uh, the endpoint security, SASE, IoT security, and mobile security. So, so we come a long way in terms of you know, making sure that all these uh, components, they work well in terms of, you know, together. But, but you know, it was not an easy journey. So let me begin with what did we face, actually, and when we started talking about uh, this particular cyber security. You know? And I want to begin with this statement saying that this is a message specifically for CISOs, CIOs, or CEOs, right? What keeps them awake at night, right? Some of the things uh, which I've captured as an example is, let's say, uh, you know, few things that we hear a lot across is that there are breaches happening everywhere, right? And these breaches are not necessarily coming from one uh, way or the other, but then the more you grow and expand, right, that's how you get exposed to more and more internet-based threats. Right? It could be uh, the threat could come in from the endpoint side, could come from the uh, cloud side, or just a plain network security, which could be just a firewall, right? Now, the statement here is that we see so many uh, product and solutions around us, right? And it is not new, right? We, we keep on investing in new product because we want to secure, make our posture more and more secure to strengthen our security policies. But eventually we land up into a situation where we make it too complex. Complex in terms of operating it, how we, how we can you know, make use of the multi-point point products. Second is, uh, are we really getting the best value out of the investment that we made, right? A uh, lot of times the CISOs and CIOs, they have been asked this particular question is that, what is the ROI on the investment that we made, right? Of course, it is not a wrong thing to look at, but the thing is that, are we really working in that direction? So when you start with a journey, let's say, to begin with something, are we really on focused, are we really focused on the outcome of the solution that we're looking at, right? So with that, when you look at the number of increase in terms of cyber attacks, right, what goes behind is actually a very, very uh, underlying statement which says that if you do not focus on what's targeting you, Possibly you will end up into some situation which is like either going to have your your image being being compromised, your data being stolen or lost, or the 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 the, the loss can be like you know un unimaginable, right? And this is what is happening. And this is a live example. Uh, I have not mentioned the name of the company, but one of the manufacturing customer they got breached, and this was the the outcome in terms of the the impact that created because of this breach, which was successful, right? Moving on, let's see that. What is it that another example, you know, which is again very, very common and known uh, for all of us to understand is that the target is always the end user or the end customer, right? How the threat comes, how the attacker is becoming successful, it could be like, you know, multiple ways of reaching out to the end system, right? Somebody can enter from, let's say, uh, an email using a phishing attack or a targeted campaign, or it could be a zero-day anti-APT persistent attack, right? Anything could be there, right? The idea is that how do you make your systems and security to be more proactive than being a reactive, right? Now, this is a, a, a relatively new term. And when, you know, everybody talks about, uh, you know, having all these system components working together so cohesively, what goes underline is that are we really having that right architecture in place, which is giving me that advantage of, you know, having all the system components working together in a very, very systematic manner.